I remember that very physical nature as a kid. You know, it was part of growing up and standing up for yourself. I've been driving Where's Keith? Gone cabinet. I've got to get me head down. I can't it's do yeah, this. Yeah, I broke now. her leg. She needs Colin. No, I'm not giving it my. Well, you better get up there, hand. I haven't seen you for 15 years. The Dark River is a, a film about a sibling relationship. Um, it's set on a farm in Yorkshire. It's about a girl who's been away, or a woman who's been away from the farm for 15 years, and she returns once her father's died, um, and to reclaim the land, really, take the land back. Her father promised it to her, so she's gone back to take it, and it's a rivalry between her and her brother over the land. That's the A-line story. There's about 15 other layers to the film. Um, it's, it has a, an abuse story, and it's about the two of them dealing with abuse and how they communicate that. Uh, it's about farming. It's about uh, Yorkshire's about relationship to land and physicality. It's about um, patriarchy and uh, the objectification of the land and the objectification of women's bodies. It's about redemption, atonement, and sibling relationships. So I don't know, it's, it's, it's so deep and it's so, it works on so many different levels. It's moving, it's not an easy watch, but it's vital, I think, as a piece of filmmaking. And it's about an area of uh, a community that is not often portrayed on screen. So it's, um, it's social realism and it's what makes up Britain. I grew up in a very physical family, three older brothers. I was treated like one of the boys. So I had to muck in, I had fights with them all the time. I was, you know, I was a tomboy really. And so when we had to the fight sequences in this, well not sequences, but the fight scenes, it felt, it literally put me back to being age sort of nine and um, having various fights with my brothers. And, you know, so I, I remember that very physical nature as a kid, you know, as part of growing up and standing up for yourself. Um, you know, I'd lie on the floor and kick my legs, you know, it was like the only way to survive it. But I think that definitely helped with the resilience, but also that, you know, knowing what that feels like. The, the subject matter of this is so sensitive, so um, it requires very delicate minds and hearts, I think, uh, approaching the material. And with this, we had a lot of women that um, were very intent on making this well, heartfelt, and well, not heartfelt, but kind of um, really the complexity, you know, exploring the complexity of being a woman in that situation. It was vital it was sort of run by women, really, this subject matter. And again, it meant that you saw that she was a woman in a, fem in a male world. You know, you, another filmmaker might not identify that, but, or a male film filmmaker might not identify that, but Clio re recognised that. It's only one other female character in the piece. Everyone else is male, the world is male. She has to put up with that judgement all the time, and she's striving. So I think that definitely probably came through the lens of Clio and the women involved in the piece. I think the shift is happening in the community of women. I feel like there's women talking to each other for the first time properly and um, assessing the situation and, and being very upset about it and realising that they have been... We all, we all have been complicit in a patriarchal system and it's entrenched. So it's now finding community. That's what's been really exciting actually it's women talking to each other <laughs> we haven't had a chance to do that before and now it's like men we need men to join us you know we need to just sort of everyone just sit back and realize stand back and go yeah this is not how it should be let's change it they just have to be complex and detailed and i mean look i if a part isn't i will add it anyway you know i'll sort of try and work out what this person's about and add a layer of something else I um, I don't know really. I I, I don't necessarily see a, a, a conjoining thread of these people or these women that I play. Um, they just have to be complex and not always do good things. You know, they the stuff they do is challenging, but that's like humans.
Yeah, I am actually. I mean, I'm producing a few things this year and uh, I just love, I love the creative process of filmmaking and narrative storytelling. So I think it's a natural progression that I might move that way. I don't know. We'll see. But I've enjoyed this process.